All right, Buffs Nation, let's wrap this bad boy up. The previews for this coming season. Final game, Oklahoma State at Folsom Field in Boulder. Last game of the year, Thanksgiving weekend. The expectation is the Buffs should be on high going through this game. So we'll talk about Oklahoma State and the challenges behind them, and we're going to dive into my final predictions for the season because I've got some exciting things for you all. You don't want to miss that, so make sure you stick around here on the prime time for college football. This video is presented by our partners over at BetUS. Check them out. Link in the description below. They're hooking the gamer up. 125% up to $2,000 on your first three deposits. That is right. Links in the description below and in the comment section. So, Oklahoma State's going to be walking in with a bunch of experience. They're the one team that... If there's anything that makes me nervous for Colorado to wrap the year up is that Oklahoma State will be a contender for the conference championship. Now, you may be saying, Jay, where you get this from? Well, I'll say this. They played for the conference championship last year. So if they played for the conference championship last year, there is a chance for them to play for it again this year because they are one of the top teams in the country when it comes to who is returning this year so let's look at this returning production for oklahoma state you know as we look at the schedule wrapping it up they're the last one but look at this let's just talk about it real quick oklahoma state coming into this game i pulled up the numbers o overall rank as a team 41 first in the country offensive at 323 30, uh, 39 defense at uh 50 that returning production 85 percent of their team is back this year yep that's third in the country with 90% on offense, second in the country, 80% on defense, 10th in the country. They're bringing back everybody. Eight incoming transfers with 19 people in their most recent class. Yeah, Oklahoma State going to be a challenge. And we know that Mike Gundy always puts together rosters that are ridiculous. And Got to give it to him, right? ESPN's Football Power Index, the FPI, says they are sitting at 26th in the country. The wild thing about them is they always find a way to have a bunch of redshirt juniors and redshirt seniors. It's bananas how they always do this. So, if that's the case, we got to take a gander at what that looks like. We're going to talk about the returning talent because they've got some players on both sides of the ball that, yeah, you Buffs fans need to know about. You got to be prepared for because, yeah, it's going to be a challenge. Let's dive into that, but first from the sponsor bet us is hooking up the gamer they're the sponsor of this video we are partnering with them links in the description below they're hooking you up all the gamers 125 percent up to two thousand dollars on your first three deposits they're making sure that you give you that extra to go in there and get your bets in so like for example you can come in here you can start betting on some of these games they've got all sports in here but you can come through look at some football let's go down here to the college stuff. I mean, you got odds for the Heisman to make the playoffs. Look to make the playoffs number, right? You got Colorado here, which is one of the bigger ones. Plus 1,200 to make the playoffs. No at minus 6,000. So feels like the bet odds makers there thinks that Colorado probably won't make it. But if you decide you want to get a little froggy and throw something in there, you can do that. We're going to throw 50 on there, win 600 bucks by making that bet. Of course you always confirm that bad boy and boom we're now out here betting to see if colorado can make the playoffs that's how they're hooking you up 125 percent up to two thousand dollars on your first three deposits they are taking care of you the gamer they also provide gambling insurance they're going to give you back 10 percent of your net losses twice a year that's right nobody else in the industry is doing that they're one of the fastest payouts they hook you up so check them out bet us link in the description below Appreciate them sponsoring the video. Let's dive back into the state. Now, the biggest challenge with Oklahoma State is offensively, they're bringing in Ollie Gordon, right? You've got one of the nation, the offensive player of the year in the Big 12 last year, leading the country in rushing at 1,700 yards, 1,732 to be exact, and 21 touchdowns. He's also a big part of their passing game at 39 catches for like 330 yards. So he catch passes, but he runs down your throat. Oklahoma State always finds a way to find some really good running backs. Here's another one on that list, especially in Gundy's system. Allen Bowman still throwing the ball. He transferred in from Michigan. Is he a threat? In a way, completed 60% of his passes in all 13 of his starts. 
3,400 yards passing with 15 touchdowns, but he's susceptible to inter- interceptions with 14. But he had Ollie Gordon. He's got to hand that man the ball and let that man go. That's kind of where Colorado's going to have to work. And then when his best receiver is Brendan Presley, he's a little dude, 5'8", roughly 160, 170, but he is very hard to catch and tackle, right? I mean, he had 101 catches last year, which was tied for third in the nation, 991 yards, right? So he catches a lot of short passes, and he just kind of goes. And he, So he's a challenge to keep your hands on, and he had six touchdowns. And he's also a kick and punt returner. So Oklahoma State's got a lot of weapons there on the offensive side of the ball. If anything, Ollie Gordon's going to be the key. You shut down Ollie, you have a very good chance. I think with this secondary – Colorado has a good chance of causing problems there. Big thing is that linebacker room and that defensive line forcing Ali Gordon to not be able to hit his holes and cause more disruption. There's a chance, but man, that's where the challenge comes into play. Oklahoma State had 11 dudes hit the portal in which we know one, DJ McKinney, cornerback here at Colorado. I think he's going to be very helpful in the Allen Bowman piece and being to evaluate him and point out what you can do and go after. But overall, man, Oklahoma State's full of veterans on both sides of the ball. Offensive line, wide receivers, runners, everything. All their production is basically back. So same team from last year that won 10 games. Going to be a challenge there. Now, the defensive side of the ball Big thing is going to be their linebacker room, right? With Nick Martin as well as Colin Oliver. Both of them are players that are considered to be pretty challenging, right? Colin Oliver was a preseason choice for the all Big 12 team. He was second all conference, 73 tackles, 15 tackles for a loss, six sacks, right? Nick, first team all Big 12 selection last year, six nationally with 140 tackles. Nick Martin, 140 tackles, 16 tackles for loss, six sacks. They're going to be all over the place. And so the run game for Colorado is going to have to make sure that they can get through them. Might as just run down and throw. That's probably something that's going to be helpful. But the good thing is Shadur Sanders is the quarterback. So throwing the ball should not be a problem on this Oklahoma State secondary, right? Like I said, getting DJ McKinney, having him be able to talk through kind of some of the stuff to look out for. I don't think Colorado is going to have a problem with Oklahoma State overall. But it's going to be a challenge, right? I don't think that I don't think it's going to be one of those where Oklahoma State just goes through and blows the doors off of Colorado. But I think that the game is probably going to be really, really close. It's going to be all about who makes the least mistakes, and if anything, who can run it down the other team's throat. Because I guarantee you, that's what Oklahoma State's going to do. They're going to run it down your throat. That's the only thing they want to play. Simplest game for them, and it keeps Allen Bowman from having to throw them a whole bunch of yards. So. That's what we're looking at with Oklahoma State. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know your thoughts, how y'all feel, what y'all think. You think that the Buffs have a chance to win the season finale at the crib? Love to hear from you all. This game's going to be the fun one because by the time you hit this point, it's going to be exciting. So we got to talk about my final prediction for the Buffs. When you look at this, this is my final prediction. Think Colorado comes in, beats North Dakota State. Fun game. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be fun. Go to Nebraska, pull off that W again. I think that Nebraska's one more year away. Young quarterback, I think this veteran Colorado defense can be disruptive enough. Then Colorado State, traveling to them, definitely going to win that game. Another dub, winning another rivalry game. Make sure that we show that Colorado owns the state. Point being period. But then Big 12 play starts. Baylor coming into town. I don't think Baylor's ready. I think Colorado knocks them off. Starting the season off. Four straight wins. This is where the challenges come in, right? After that, you travel to UCF. Got me a little nervous in that game. And I think when you get to that point, that'll be the first loss of the season. I think UCF is a sleeper in the Big 12. They're going to be a little bit more of a challenge than people expect. I think that's the first loss of the season for the Buffs, starting year off 4-1. and one, It's pretty darn good. You matched last year's wins already. 4-1, and one, can't complain. Kansas State coming to the crib. You get the bye week, and then you got Kansas State. Question is, can the bus be ready after that bye, after that loss, to bounce back and win this game? I think that Colorado can. I'm going to give Colorado the W against Kansas State. That would be one at the crib. They got a young quarterback who's really good, but I think the bus will be ready for that one. Going up to Arizona, traveling the week after one's to that one, I think that one's going to be a challenge, and I think Arizona pulls that one away. Former Pac-12 foes, I think that's the one Arizona snatches up. 
five and two is where we're at now. But then Colorado bounces back. Cincinnati, dub. Okay, if you're gonna win that one at the crib. Travel to Texas Tech. You know what? We got Froggy. So what we decided to do, post bye week, win at Texas Tech. Boom, I think they have win the Texas Tech game. If y'all been counting, seven wins already. Bow eligible, ready to go. So riding high with Utah coming into town because now the team's bow eligible. Can't beat that, right? What you want. Boom, upset of Utah. So you get that Cincinnati win, Texas Tech win, Utah win. Boom, upset city. I'm liking that. Two losses, eight wins. That is a big plus. Then you wrap the season up with Kansas and Oklahoma State. Kansas will be at Arrowhead Stadium for the Chiefs. I don't think that there's going to be healthy players there. So, boom, give me Kansas losing that game. Colorado takes that one away from them. Nine wins, and I think the final home finale, pushing for that 10th win, I think Oklahoma State with the veteran presence ended up closing it out. Nine and three. It's pretty darn good, right? Nine and three for the Buffs. Let me know what y'all think. Hop in the comments. You think I'm off base? Think Colorado wins more games? Think they win less? Love to hear from you all. All right, series is done. Shout out to BetUS for hooking us up. They're taking care of the game. 125% on your first three deposits up to $2,000. Hooking the people up with that extra money. Get them bets in there. Bet for Colorado to make that over five and a half. All right, if you want to check out some more videos, of course, you got the content right up here. And then, of course, you can subscribe. Hit that bell notification. We're probably going to be going live or we'll record something right after the North Dakota State game. So we'll be around in preparation for that. Besides that, we'll talk soon.